What's up everybody? It's VGB. Y'all know me and today I am back with another video. So today I am going to be making pad tickles. I am 38 weeks. So let me show you all my bump. Show you my bump. Bumpity bump bump bump. Bumpity bump bump bump. <laughs> I am 38 weeks today and I am getting big big but yeah so I'm gonna be making my pad sickles for my postpartum and I just wanted to do it uh, with you all if you're interested in what pad sickles are it's pretty much like just frozen pads with witch hazel um, lavender um, and aloe, aloe vera and they just really soothe the perineal um, area down there after birth because it goes through a lot and so it's very important to me to have pads, pad sickles and things to soothe my you know my lady parts down there so um, I'm gonna do that and if y'all are interested let's see so I have these just um, always pads and I plan to line them with the organic cotton rounds just because I'd rather what's this be on directly on um, my um, lady part down there versus the, the always pads then I have um, this sensitive toner it's alcohol free and it's just with aloe vera I don't have just regular aloe vera but I figured that would work then I have this witch hazel with lavender and it is alcohol free as well. Make sure your stuff's alcohol free so it doesn't burn it down there. Um, and then I have an alcohol free witch hazel with aloe toner. Um, Humphreys is the brand. Um, and this is Burt's Bees here. So I have, I have a spoon for like rubbing things in. And then I have these are gonna be my homemade tux pads and so I'm gonna go ahead and probably make these first and put these in the refrigerator just because I am 38 weeks so they should be fine and they'll be nice and cool and I can take them I have three of these so I'm gonna go ahead and probably make those first and put those in the refrigerator and then I'll get on to my pads situation done so I'm gonna do that with the rest of these I'm gonna try this one the dyers situation dyers in there and it already has lavender and witch angle and then I'll put a little bit of aloe toner in there as well all right and then I'll put some more of this in there saturate it and it'll fall down and saturate all of them all right and then this little top kind of pushes it down too so i got one with just different variations but i know they'll all feel good and then let's see i will do some of this one with the aloe this is the humphreys witch hazel alcohol free and i will try to get this all linked down below for you all if you want to just order it online but if not, you should be able to find most of the stuff at your local um, drugstore. So I got that. So I have three of these ready to go in the refrigerator. 
until I give birth and then I'll bring those out and add those to my bathroom but I just want to try to keep them fresh as long as possible so then I am going to start making these pads this is how I plan to store them in the refrigerator in the freezer so I just have like a clear container here and this is something I did not do with my other boys but I wish I had so part off, turn the flaps over, from Walmart. I will try to link some similar ones. I really like the way this container kind of like spills out. So like the way it kind of just squeezes out and it makes it a lot simpler to get the pads going So I got one down and a lot more to go. So I'm probably just gonna like fast forward through this process. So y'all just stay tuned, enjoy the vibe, um, make pad tickle with me, join me as I do this process. So I like to over prepare instead of under prepare. Um, I love, you know, being a mom and I just feel like I need to get back to being myself and get the healing um, accomplished as fast as possible with, uh, this is about to be baby number three. So I got two uh, young ones running around ages four and six. And then I have baby girl coming. so. Um, I need to be able to be mobile and I do plan on relaxing and healing for um, at least the first couple of weeks um, to just get my body back right but I want to make sure that I'm doing it properly so that I am able to heal and be my best self for my babies. Um, they say that you can't like you know pour from, from an empty cup and I am a true believer in that and so self-care, um, caring for yourself and loving yourself and treating yourself and helping yourself heal and giving yourself time to heal is very important especially if you plan to you know try to bring your best self forward for your kids, for your husband and for family and co-workers and everyone else who you inspire and encourage on a daily basis.
I know this is a tedious process, but your future self will thank you so much for spending the time to make these before your baby comes. finish my pad sickles. I just did it until I ran out of cotton rounds. So pretty much uh, I just wanted to mention like these are pads that I had before I got pregnant and I figured instead of splurging I do have cotton um, pads because I didn't want to switch to those so when things get a little lighter and things start to heal a little more I'll probably just do the pads and maybe maybe a couple of tucks if I need them and Neal spray, but like for the first initial days, I will be using the pad sickle. And um, I just wanted to, instead of like splurging on a ton of um, organic cotton or reusable um, pads, I just figured I could buy the cotton rounds, the organic cotton rounds, and have that touch and um, and be able to use up what I already have um, so yeah so I have I had the always pads already and I was able to make let's see one two three okay I was able to make 19 pad sickles um, I will probably just throw these in like a ziploc bag or something sit them on top and use those first just because I ran out of space in my little container that I plan to add to the freezer. So I'll probably, I'll put these in something, find something for those. Then I have these as well that I'm gonna freeze and add to the freezer. Um, and they're, they're iPads, but I got them from the dollar store and I figured I could just freeze them and like maybe put them in between my like, the pen or whatever I have on in my pants or you know whatever I'm wearing and have that be a layer but it won't touch directly for like sanitary reasons or whatever so um, that's my plan there to some kind of way wrap it in some fabric or something or you know have it in between where things are really happening in a clothing item and use these two for cooling so I have four of those that I'm gonna add to the freezer um and then of course i showed y'all we made these um homemade tux pads together so i'm gonna add those to my refrigerator and so i was i used up one full sensitive toner in burt's beads the buyers i used that one and i used this up so i have three empties and I still have a little bit more of the Burt's Bees toner in the second bottle. And I have plenty of lavender left, so I'll probably just use that to diffuse, you know, for everyday things and making certain things. So I have that. Okay, so moving on into our water room. I need to get some toilet paper, even though we just use wipes um, to put there. Um, and I have a full detailed like clean with me of this room if y'all want to see that but on the wall my husband hung up this situation for me and so I have a bit of the pins up there and then I have these these are from the Frida mom collection postpartum collection um, so I have those and then I have the hospital ones which I love and they're so soft so I have a couple of them to choose from and then these are my organic um, 
pads here and that's for like later on because I plan to use my pad tickles first and my depends and all of this first and then I'll use this and then here I have a ton of these Perry bottles that I plan to just fill so I'm not having to like walk over to my sink and fill them. I want to have them like pre-filled for those first couple of days. Then I have these uh, herbal perineal spray from Earth Mama. I got two of those and this Frida Mom perineal spray and these cooling pads so I have a ton of things to help heal everything down there I know I've stated in like other videos how important that is to me oh yeah this is a Frida Mom um, perineal like water bottle as well so I'll probably have all of those filled up like right like the day of like put that on my list of things for my support system to do um, but yeah, so this is how I have it in here. So yeah, you just walk into my bathroom and I got everything up on the wall. I love, I love when things are like off the floor. So I have that there and I just wanted to show y'all that how I have this stuff. And then yeah, of course I'll probably have someone bring me my padsicle or I'll go get my padsicle and I will use those. Um, along with my um, Depends. So thank you so much for watching this video of me and my postpartum and how I plan to heal postpartum. Well, as far as like pads and make my pad tickles and how I have everything arranged in my bathroom and how I, what I'm freezing, what I'm putting in the refrigerator, all of that type of stuff. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it brings you tons of inspiration. Um, also stay tuned because I plan to do a visualizing my birth video and I yoni steam and that's another way of healing um, postpartum as well as once you hit your 38 week they say it's safe for you to yoni steam. I am not a health provider of any sort but it's something that I've been doing and I've been enjoying and it feels amazing. So I plan to do that all the way up into my early labor, yes, all the way up into my early labor. And then I am gonna also do it postpartum. So Yoni Steaming is amazing, it feels wonderful. So I highly encourage that too. So y'all stay tuned for my visualizing my birth video. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will try to leave everything linked down below. And just thank you so much.